good old plain old horse dung pot from yesterday. No activity, no movement, nothing really happening on it. Oh, except one fly landing on it. Oh, there's a dung beetle right there. There's a dung beetle right there making its way in. You can see right there. That's a dung beetle. Now, I'm gonna disturb it and we'll see what real activity is going on in, it, in there. So, let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a dung beetle right there. All these holes. That's a dung beetle hole, that's a dung beetle hole. Maybe there, there's not as many as I anticipated in this one. Oh, there's another one. They just know how to bury. You can see all those little marks, holes. Those are all the dung beetles hiding in amongst the dung. Here, let's cook, kick over another dung beetle pot. Dogs are quite willing to take part in these kind of experiments. So there's dung beetles there. They're all digging down back into the dung to hide because they think I'm a bird about to eat them. So that's one, two, then three. Let's see. There's dung beetles, loads of dung beetles in that one. Let's see this one. And loads of dung beetles in this one. All burying themselves as quickly as possible. Thinking I'm a, um, let's see, there's there was that one right there. Where's my finger? There, oh, it's disappeared. Anyway, loads of dung beetles. And they're all flying everywhere to it. So, there's one flying in now. So, they're all flying in to land on this pot of dung. Very active. Lots of food for birds and they're breaking down the food for the soil and all kinds of things. Let's see, look at them. They're all flying in from all over the place. I don't, I, I don't know, I can't catch them flying in. That one just flew in. And you see how quickly it's going in. There, that just landed. And it's going, hmm, yummy dinner. So that's a dung beetle, whoops. Anyway, that is what a healthy environment needs, are loads and loads of dung beetles. Good for the soil and good for all of us. Good for the environment, good for the birds, good for everything. This pile of horse manure has spread out in a huge way. So, this is a sign that uh, dung beetles are very active in it. It's very pockmarked and everything. So, there you can see loads of them running inside to hide, thinking that I'm a bird. Very active dung beetles. I don't know if you can see all right in there, all disappearing, digging in under the uh, thinking I'm a bird, because birds will pick in here looking for dung beetles. So this is giving food to the birds and everything. You can see loads of dung beetles there. So this is heaving and there's lots of dung beetles flying in from all over. So the dung beetles spread that out. Well, I spread it out a little bit more. But birds will be pecking at it and feeding off the dung beetles and all kinds of things. So a very active uh, dung beetle 
uh, horse manure pile. Now, that one was spread out. This one is a bit fresher and it's not quite as active because the dung beetles haven't, there's a lot of them flying in. You can see they're flying in and landing. All those flying things are dung beetles flying in to land to um, start eating. Oh, and some of them are dung flies. But if I break that apart, it's not quite as active with dung beetles. Still, there's a few. There's one right there. And there's another one right there. So there's a few in there, but it's a fresher one than that one you can see is kind of spread out. So a very active pile. That's probably two days old, whereas that was uh, laid out by a horse yesterday. So that's the, you can see the difference of how the dung beetles spread the manure from uh, yesterday, 24 hours to 48 hours.